In this problem, we receive as input a given integer and we are supposed to construct a string consisting of 5 and 3 respecting a certain number of conditions. So throughout this problem, we are going to find out how we are going to approach this problem and how to transform that approach into, into code. So if you want to see how we do that, uh, stay to the end of the video. If you are new to the channel, here is Algo Architect where we talk about algorithm, data structure, everything related to competitive programming uh, that help you to come up with approaches that are um, interesting to solve problems that help you to optimize your approach. So if you are new, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. So today's problem is about taking an input, an integer, and construct a string that is respecting a certain number of conditions. And those are the condition. The, the the string or the output consists of three and or five. So we can have only three, we can have only five, or we can have both three and five. And now the number of three it contains is divided by five. That means the number of three is divided by five. That means we can have zero three, we can have um, uh, zero three, we can have five three, we can have ten three, and so on. The number of 5, it contains it divided by 3. So we can have 3, 5, we can have 6, 5, and so on. And uh, it is the largest such number for its length. What does that mean? That means, okay, for instance, this is a solution, right? But if in this solution, you put 3 at the beginning, it does respect those 3 conditions, but it is not the largest. So in your solution, you should think of bringing out the one with the largest possible value. Now that we are out of this condition, how are we going to build our solution? How are we going to, to construct a solution that meets all those requirements? So uh, I will dive into uh, something that I come up with that will help me to, uh, to present you how I'm going to approach it. So let me go this way. So to approach it, the first thing is we have been going through the the, the different requirement. So this is what I just read the condition. Um, to meet this last requirement, that means uh, the largest such the number for its length. That means we need to maximize the number five. What does that mean? That means, okay, if you have the possibility to have both three and five for a given length, we should maximize the number of, of five. And at the end, we should just make sure that the number of five is at the beginning. So think of maximize the number of five. Now that you know that you need to maximize the number of five, you ask your question, what are the things that can make me maximize the number of five? Now, you, if, you, if you take a look at the situation, you will see that if the number you have is actually greater than 15, you have the possibility to, to place 15 with 3 or with 5 because 15 is a multiple of 3 and it's a multiple of 5. So let's say you have 15. You can place with trees or you can place with five. Now that you want to maximize the number of five, you know that whenever you are going to have 15, you need to put only five. So by doing this, you kind of understand that, okay, three is actually playing in the range of zero, five, and 10, because those are the multiple of five less than 15. If you go above this, you better replace it with 15 to meet this first condition. So uh, n modulo 3 equal to 1, that means you are going to have 10 3. Why? Because um, 10 modulo 3 is equal to, to 1. n modulo 3 equals to 2, that means you are going to have 5, 5 3. Why? Because 5 modulo, 5 modulo 3 is equal to, to 2. So basically, those three conditions are actually the one that, that you are going to use to, to solve the problem. Now that you are aware of this, you can write a simple code with uh, with those uh, with those conditions. Your code will look like this. So you are going to have something like this. Let me increase this size so we. So you are going to say if n modulo three is equal to one, that is the first condition. And n is greater than ten. Why are we saying n is greater than ten? Whereas here we were just talking about just n modulo three equal to one. Because when n modulo 3 is equal to 1, you are going to have 10 3. 
and if you have if you have 10 tree you need to make sure that the input allow you to have 10 tree so if the input allow me to have 10 tree that means n is greater or equal to 10 then i can then i can put the 10 tree at the end and at the beginning i can put the remaining number with with fives the same with this one and then lastly this one so by doing this you end up with a solution that actually uh, pass 100 percent of the of the cases now that we are i mean like we are done with this we can think of an optimization what do i mean by an optimization here you can see that basically you are kind of making a map with element like zero should give you zero one should give you 10 and two should give you five so basically if you can maybe create a map of this element you will not need to have um, a double condition here you are just going at the beginning to have the number of three that you need to have and then that you need to return in your solution and then n minus that, that number of three is the number of five and then you just need to check if that number of five is actually greater or equal to zero and then you return that is another way of doing it without having a, a lot of if so you can use a lot of approaches to have it you can maybe use a map at the beginning to have this or you can use this operation why am i using this operation because i really want something that is going to be i mean like uh sort i can see that two is attached to five one is attached to ten which is kind of like the opposite of what i want because if one was attached to five and two was attached to ten i would just say okay it's just a multiplication by five that's why i'm making three minus n modulo three by doing this uh three will be i mean like it will reverse this but the only issue is that zero will now be attached to three and if zero is attached to three if i make time five i will have issue that's why i'm adding this modulo again that means the three will be zero so by doing this i've just created a kind of map from year to year so if i pass zero to this function it will return zero if i pass one to this function it will return 10 and so on so by doing this i can come up with this solution instead which is a bit shorter uh, that helped me to achieve the same thing let us submit and see so we still have everything green so this is my approach of solving this i hope you do enjoy don't forget to like subscribe and share I'll be really happy to interact with you regarding this. See you on the next video. Ciao.